Hello all, Micromancer here and welcome to another episode of Getting Hammered. We're nearing the end of the season now and it's been a mixed bag since our results against uh, Newcastle and Tottenham with the two draws. It's been alright. We beat Brighton at home 2-0. Manuel Lanzini's been in sensational form the last few games and he got a brace in that one. Uh, we then played a brilliant, thrilling 3-3 draw with Burnley. Talking Hazard and Marco Natovic getting us there. Burnley went ahead three times in that game. We came back every single time for that. We did get brought back down to earth however by Manchester United who just seemed to be the hardest team in this game to play. At least I there's no tactic to stop them. I even went five at the back when we went one nil down to try and figure it out and it just didn't work. Uh but then we did try a bit of a different formation, the three four two one, I believe it was, when we went up against Everton and we actually ended up winning that three to going behind twice again, but to come back and win Lanzini getting the winner in the eighty seventh minute. Today we have games at home against West Brom and Southampton and I'll show you what the table looks like. So here we are, we're sat in the sixth position, goal difference of two, it shows that our games have been a bit nip and tuck or we've had some hammerings like Liverpool and United games that have kind of evened out the good results that we have had in terms of the actual goal difference. But we are six points behind Leicester so I can't see us catching them with only six games to go in the Premier League to get to fifth. However, it is almost like a straight shootout between us, Liverpool and Everton for this 6th place and a Europa League spot. I don't know if it's actually something I really want because our squad is definitely not going to be big enough to deal with it next year but obviously we'll have the summer to kind of get in new recruits. So we start today's game against West Brom at home. They are doing fine in 13th on the table. We're not really pulling up any trees but I think they're pretty much safe from relegation. We're in inconsistent form. They're in quite decent form so this could be a potentially very tricky game for us but we are odds on to win. So it's a starting lineup then because Pablo Zawat is still injured. We are going to go for this 3 4 2 1 formation with Hazard and Lanzini in behind on Atovic. Hak Sabanovic is going to be on the wing and he's performed really well this year, playing at 7.32 in these for uh, the fixes that he has played. He's been brilliant to come off the bench and in the cup competitions he's done excellent. You can see here the front three have done really, really well 11, 14, and 11 goals respectively. Torgan Hazard getting the most of those. And the back three seems to be gelling quite well. I enjoy the Rojo, De Litt and Ogbana partnership from when I have played three at the back. It seems to be very um, structured so I quite like that. Anyway, let's get on with the game. Hopefully we can get a win and cement ourselves a place in this top six. First highlight here has fallen. It looks like it might be to us. Hazard picks the ball up and he runs away from his man. He knocks it to Lanzini. Now this is where the magic really happens. He's been in such good form recently. It's a good ball. Went to Arnautovic and he's just knocked it over the bar. Unlucky boys but a good start. Second highlight is coming up now then. So Foster's got the ball. Apparently we're not connecting with a lot of our crosses even though we're winning the majority of the headers. It's nice from Rojo to hack Savanovic. Lanzini now picks up the ball. He's driving at the defence. Is he going to play in Marco? He's going to go out wide, knocks it to Antonio, who's fresh off a couple of assists in his last game. That's a brilliant ball to the back post, and it's Hazard, and it's 1-0. Antonio has been quite disappointing throughout the season, but in the last couple of games, he's been absolutely brilliant with his delivery, and Torgan Hazard gets his 15th of the season. Superb stuff. It's a lovely little run in by Lanzini, driving at the defence. They don't know what to do. Antonio knocks the ball out of his feet, gets to the bye, and whips the ball in. It's a good header from Torgan Hazard. Four shots, two on target, more possession. This is precisely what we were after. Although, Daniel Sturridge has now picked up the ball. Delet has won the ball back, and it's one to Antonio. Now, can we catch him on the break? Lanzini plays, and then Marco on out of it. He just hits it wide up a post. Burke here is on the ball, and he's knocked it out to Chadley on the left wing. And West Brom looking to get an equaliser here. It's going to Sturridge. <gasps> and he's headed over, but that is the threat they possess. That's the first time that they've really got in behind us and made life a bit difficult. And Sturridge could be able to hold up the ball here for West Brom. He's running at the defence and he's not injured himself, which is a surprise. Burke's on the ball, this is a goal. Chadley, Sturridge, 1-1. One, one. You can't say that they haven't deserved it. They've been much better in the last 10 minutes or so. and We've really stepped off the gas. I think that on out of its chance has kind of shaken us a little bit because it should have been too... And West Brom of course a little bit cold on the counter and this is where playing through the back does have its negatives is that if people aren't marking properly you are in trouble. Chadley nods it down to Sturridge and it's a good header into the back of the net by the former Liverpool man. Well still Liverpool man but now playing on loan at West Brom. Well half time has come and I'm a bit cheesed off of what's happened there so I'm going to tell the boy that I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. Hakka Sabanovic looks stressed which is 
annoying in itself because he shouldn't be stressed he's been fine but I think we're going to Let's get on the instructions we're going to tightly mark Daniel Sturridge as well because he's been a real thorn in the side in this first half okay we've had about 20 minutes of the second half and Anatovic is getting even worse so I'm actually going to bring on big old Andy Carroll as we near full time, I can only see this ending in a draw, but we really need the win. A draw is not good enough at this stage, so I've gone attacking. Not that that ever does anything on Football Manager. And it's been a piss poor second half. And not the result we were looking for, it's fair to say. Oh no. Sturridge is through on goal. Great covering tackle from our bonner, but it's fallen to Burke. Don't you dare, don't be a Burke. As I picks the ball up, he's knocked it to Andy. Andy's not going to sprint away from anyone. And that brings an end to a rather disappointing 1-1. And the stats will tell you that we really flaked off in that uh, end of the sec first half to the second half. Just nothing happened. I'm going to tell him that it was not good enough. And it wasn't. I'm not happy with the way that was. I wonder if that's just dropped us down on the table. Now, we're still six. So Liverpool obviously couldn't capitalise from their point of view. We did actually gain a point on Leicester by the looks of things, but I'm still not particularly happy with the way that went. So next up is Southampton in a week's time. They're bottom of the table, so no doubt we're probably going to lose this game, but I shall see you in a tick. Hello viewers, back again. Right, game against Southampton, bottom of the table. And I've also, uh, in other news, been offered a new contract and I have signed it. So the board are obviously quite happy with what we've done this season, which is good news. So the project will continue in the background. Happy, happy days. I'm going to stick with the 3 4 2 1 formation that we had last time. And I've got to give faith in Alan which He's got 11 goals this year. He's not done that badly. Come on, boys, we can do this. So Anton lining up with a 4 2 3 1, looking quite defensive, as you would expect. Uh, I'm going to tell the boys I'm going to get passionate with them shall we say and tell them that if they play their game they'll win and take a bit of the pressure off because oh sorry about that viewers I thought the house was burning down but no just burning some bacon downstairs it's all good it's been a quiet start to the game but Southampton have a corner Davies to Rafa. Is he going to unleash a pile driver? It's gone over the bar. That's not exactly the start I was hoping for. We just seem to be giving up lots of possession at the moment. And that's another highlight, and it's gone to Southampton. Romeo is on the ball. He knocks it to McQueen, who knocks in Bafal, a very tricky player. Down the wing. Ah, oh, Correa has made it 1 0 because they're bottom of the table. So why wouldn't they win? Oh, God. We've got more of the ball back, but we've done absolutely sweet FA with it. And it's another highlight to Southampton. David, we just, oh, I need to work on the set pieces because we're just not marking anyone from any of the set pieces. Carrillo to Ho to Adrian, and we are all over the place at the moment. And apparently there is a gap between our team at the moment. So I'm going to bring Obiang back to sit and protect. Mm. Mario is going to go up and play as that, so it's a very strange formation we're playing now, but I need to sort out this problem where there's a gap between the play. The defence and the midfield need to link up. I don't think we've threaded five passes together from what I've seen of the highlights anyway. This has been such a poor effort. Half time's approaching. I haven't had a, we haven't had a highlight for the whole half. Um, their bottom, Southampton, and also cut a drift. We've had a free kick. Yeah, Mario knocks it in. They clear it without any issue. This could well be two if Davis plays the right ball here. He's played it to Rafa, who's been very dangerous so far. He just keeps going. This has got Carrillo written all over it. There he is, and he's headed over the bar. I am going to lose my rag at half-time, because I am not happy. Well, no doubt at half-time, we have been piss poor, and I am going to get aggressive. We're going to apply some pressure, actually. We're going to go... 4-4-2. Get Obiang. It's defensive playmaker. And we are going to grab a hold of this sodding game right now. 
So double substitution, Pablo Zavalata and Andy Carroll come on, Haksab Ivanovic and Mikel Antonio gone off and they're already in behind. And it's a good tackle from Rojo. Come on for Christ's sake. We've we've got another issue. Southampton have yet more chances. Uh, I mean, what is that? What is that? I bring you on. Um, <laughs> I need this. Let's look at that in three dimensions, shall we? So Cedric's got the ball. He knocks out to Stephen Davis, who apparently now has a mohawk, which is interesting. Cedric was in the left hand. Lovely, lovely edit. Yeah, brilliant from Zabaleta there. You absolute fairy. Oh, give me strength. I'm going to take the very disappointing Thorgan Hazard off. Because he's been wank. And we're going to bring on Yavi Hernandez and see if that makes any difference. We've done nothing today. It's been by far the worst performance of my, my tenure so far. And that's including the, the Liverpool hammering. We've ripped the ball in. McQueen's picked it up. But we're just offering no threat whatsoever at the moment. Obana to Obiang. To Arnautovic. And why is he running away from the goal? Oh, come on. Yes, come on. Well done, Javier Hernandez. We managed to get that lovely little flick on by Andy Carroll. Bit lucky, but we'll take it. It was a good play by Arnautovic originally to make some room. He dragged the players out. Rojo put in a good ball. Did Andy Carroll back heal that? I think he might have done to Hernandez. And it's a tidy finish, if not a little bit lucky. And there's a highlight straight afterwards. And it has been intercepted by Arnautovic. He's playing a lot better now. I've moved him out to the wing. Maybe the novelty of doing a centre forward position is gone now. Hernandez knocks it into Mario. Lanzini is in space. He whips the ball to Carroll at the far post. Oh, take a touch, Andy. Take a touch. We need to intercept this ball really and soon. Buffal has just done Zabaleta again. Zabaleta has been. Uh, oh my god, Gary Dini hits the post and it's well played by Rojo. Are we going to launch a counter from that chance? And out of which to Carroll. Carroll, wo woeful pass. Woeful pass. Oh, marvellous. I've made all my changes and our Bonner is injured. Only three at the back view is exciting. And there's a highlight and I can't help but think that this might be the third to, uh, to Southampton. It's fallen to Lamina in the middle of the pitch. He knocks the ball out to Tadic. Tadic goes around his man. Gabby Adini, 3-1. Completely deserved as well. We've been atrocious. We had a little 20-minute period in the second half. But you would think that that will do it. Because, as usual, you play bottom of the table. And they will, nine times out of ten, beat you. It's a disappointing result. It's a woeful performance that I can't help but kind of think that we're just meandering our way till the end of the season now we're still sick somehow Liverpool lost again or did lose again but they dropped points again Leicester are now out of sight uh, and we are just sort of meandering our way oh that's why Liverpool played Leicester uh, well it is a normal result and it's uh, yeah we're just meandering away to a very very disappointing end to the season Angelo Bonner is out for two to three weeks with concussion, uh, concussion, which we'll probably see him out for the rest of the season, I'd hazard a guess. We've got some difficult games between now and then. We've got Stoke, Leicester, Huddersfield and Arsenal. Uh, what we'll do then, because we are chasing a Europa League place, I'll play it by ear. If we get to the Huddersfield game and it's either sewn up or there's no chance of us getting it, I'll just bring us back for the Arsenal game. If there is a chance we can do it, we'll have the Huddersfield and the Arsenal game. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Sorry it wasn't the best one in the world. Look how inconsistent that is towards the end of the year. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share and subscribe. And until I see you again, stay cool.